Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Server Gyan. My name is Dr. Lokendra Singh and today we are going to discuss about Elastic Load Balancer. The theory and rest of stuff like how many types of load balancers are there on the platform of AWS we have already discussed in previous video. So within this video we are going to see the practical of that. There are three types of load balancer. First of all is classic load balancer. Second one is network load balancer and third one is application load balancer. So application, classic and network. All the load balancers we will see in practical manner but one by one. So first of all we are going to initiate with classic load balancer. So for running any load balancer at least we need two virtual machines. So I am going to create two virtual machines here and uh, we are working in Singapore zone. So Singapore region. So let me create quickly two machines here. So I am not going to explain what all these are and how to select and what to perform and where to perform. So what I am going to do is I am going to okay let me place myself here fine. So I am going to select one AMI which is T2 micro good to go with. I will launch two instances here because obviously I will need to install Apache on this. Then after I will add hard disk then add security group make sure the security group which we are going to configure should allow at least two ports port 22 because you will have to log in and configure your web server in that and then your http because obviously your http traffic will be routed to that fine so once again i'll i'll remind i'll let you know guys port 22 is for ssh and port 80 is for httpd service on 80 on 80 port your http it means your web service will be running and if you need to log into your server then you will need to have your port 22 opened from anywhere okay httpd can be from anywhere but for security reason do not ever keep this from anywhere but this is just for tutorial guys so i don't have any fear about like anyone can log into my server because after completing this practical i will definitely terminate this instance fine so for your own environment your production environment always have a specific ip address range where which you can define you will go to here in custom and you can define that but for now i'm going to keep it anywhere fine review and launch so i launch this instance i have ec2 okay i have elb hyphen test key pair with me i will give acknowledgement and i will launch these two instances fine so these two instances are launched now what i will do is i'll go to ec2 dashboard and if i see here that two instances are being launched fine this is one previous instance which i created in singapore itself and this is showing terminated so it will get vanished after some time it will disappear for sure but for now we need to focus only on these two instances so this can take a while okay this is coming up this will also come up fine so let us log into this server first of all okay so what we are going to do is we are going to log into this server fine what we need to do is we will go to downloads and let me make this font bigger for you guys because you will be it will be quite easy for you as well fine so we are in downloads now then let's paste the command okay yes it is asking me and now we are logged in fine so we have logged in successfully to the server and now what we will do is we will do sudo su hyphen it means we have accelerated our privilege to root now what we are what i'm going to do is on the server i will install some packages of http dm install httpd minus y this is package of httpd yes great installed so now what i'll do is i will launch one website here for example i'll go to slash where www.html and i will create a file here 
with the name of index.html i'll write cat then index.html then this is okay let me write this is my first first server fine and i'll press control d to save this i will restart the service service httpd restart okay this went failed because the service was already stopped and i st i stopped it again so it went failed and now it's working fine okay so this is for this server guys and let me once again open a new terminal because i will have to log into another machine as well so we will cancel this we will unselect this we will select this now we will go to connect and we will perform the same steps again okay so what we are going to do is we are going to log into this machine we will go to downloads once again as we selected the same keys for both machines so we need to log into this machine as well yes and now what we are going to do is we are going to accelerate the privilege sudo su hyphen find we are we have become root and now we can install any package whatever is required so i will do what is m install httpd minus y http is the package for apache fine package is installed this is quite fast and now what we are going to do we are going to create a file where www.html and we will create a file here cat redirect to index.html and and we will write this is second server fine the content is different but obviously for sure for your production environment you will have to keep your content same service httpd restart okay fine done so let me check whether this is working fine or not i will open new tab and i will paste this url oh my bad i was supposed to copy only this name because that was the command to log into ssh fine my bad Okay, this is second server. This is working fine. Now let me show you that my first server is also working fine. And how can I show you? Because I'll have to copy this name. I will click here. I will copy this particular URL, this particular name. This is DNS name which is provided to me by Amazon. So this is my first server. This is my second server. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly create a load balancer. So where do we create load balancer? In the same tag, go for a little bit down, drag down this, and create load balancers. So there are three type of load balancers available. I will show you all three. And in fact, there is a very popular inter question that why then why there are three lo type of load balancers? So people say when there are there is traffic for HTTP, they use application load balancer. When there is traffic for other services, use TCP. Otherwise, classic load balancer. So it is not so these all three type of load balancers have different specifications and these all are supposed to use on some specific time specific criteria is defined for them if you want to know that so please keep on watching my videos with my next video i will show one by one all these three type of load balancer and post uh, showing that load balancers i will deep i will uh, let you know guys that why these load balancers are used and what what are the situations this is these are quite important for interview as well that in which situation I need to create load network load balancer and in which situation I need to create application load balancer. So I'm going to create load balancer first of all now, which is classic. This is old generation. Very soon, hopefully, you will not be able to find this, but currently we have, so definitely we need to know that how to work with this. So I'm going to name it like test ELB. Fine. So this will be okay. Sorry, this will be my internal load balancers no i will have to uh, i will have to accept traffic from public then after enable advanced vpc configuration no i do not want that because we don't know vpc till now so we will not do anything with this 
then after configure security groups obviously we will configure some security group here i'll create new security group it will say that protocol will be http your port will be 80 and uh, source will be from anywhere that if traffic comes from anywhere on port 80 then my load balancer which i'm creating now so that will start accepting that particular traffic fine now configure health check what is health check health check means load balancer checks on a specific time interval that your web servers are responding properly if this is not configured then there is no need to have load balancer on the top of your virtual machines or on the top of your web servers reason because if your virtual machines where your web service is running goes down then how would you identify this is a particular stuff which is going to make it possible so you can set protocol either on tcp http or maybe on ssl protocol whatever whatever you want you can configure we will definitely discuss this in detail but in upcoming videos okay port 80 i'm going to select default page will be index.html which i created there uh, in, in on those virtual machines response time will be let us say for three seconds that i want that my web server should be responding maximum three seconds if it exceeds three seconds then it should be marked as unhealthy fine my load balancer will hit to check virtual machine whether these are responding every four seconds it means after every four seconds there will be a hit from load balancer on both virtual machines so this is that interval then after health is unhealthy threshold if response does not come in three seconds okay this must be five seconds great so if response does not come in three seconds so it will be counted as unhealthy so it will count two times and if, if, if this particular exceeds for three times, so net traffic will be moved to another one. Means another node will be serving traffic. Now add EC2 instances. Now what I will do is I will add these two instances to this load balancer. And obviously because these are my those two machines which I have recently created, and I I I I, I showed you that how to create a web server on that. So I'll say name and I'll say ELB test fine so what i'll do is i'll create this you can check your details here whatever you have configured here whatever detail like what was the vpc name what was security group and what was elb name you mentioned and yes all the stuff is uh, configured here so i'm going to create load balancer so let us see that whether our load balance is created or not so in the meanwhile till the till, till the time it comes back so we we'll let us see the instances okay these two instances are out of service reason being because currently these instances are are under health check fine then after health check if we see so this is health check if you want to edit something like you want to uh, increase or decrease the size of particular timeout of this particular health check configure configuration you can edit any moment if you talk about listeners listeners means the particular port on your load balancer your load balancer will listen on port 80 and your instance port will also listen on port 80 what you can do is you can make it possible like your load balancer will listen on port number 443 if you run it on https and you can restart you can run your instance on port 80 or you can or vice versa as well that you can uh, you can let your load balancer listen on port 80 and you can redirect that traffic to port 443 on your servers okay fine so these are still out of service let us refresh this page let us see what is the condition instance registration is, is still in progress it means we will have to wait for a while okay so till then we can see the monitoring as well here that what's what all monitoring types are configured can okay, healthy host counts healthy host counts average latency in milliseconds you can see here so all these things if you want to check you can check here fine so this is it and if you want to configure alarm so for sure you can conf configure alarm as well within upcoming videos i'm going to let you know how to configure sns it means simple notification service and how to configure your alarms fine so if you want to add some tag or if you want to edit if you want migration like you can migrate your your alb migration wizard amazon load balancer migration wizard it is so you can migrate to either to network load balancer or 
classic load balance or so or sorry application load balance you can check you can migrate to okay fine in service now what as we see this is in service we will go to description and this is a particular load balancer which we have created this is dns name and we will hit this particular server now reason being because obviously all the instances are in healthy state okay this is my first server it means all the request which i have hit will go to this server first and after that this these are this request will go to another server this is second server this is first server this is second server this is first server it means this is why i change the content of both the servers that i can de demonstrate that my request is going on both the servers now just one quick thing i would like to do here is okay i'll go to instances uh okay leave it let me go here on description i'll go down and this is stickiness now what is stickiness that if i hit this particular load balancer see this one if i hit this load balancer so what is currently doing is that request is being served from both the servers but what if i enable this so if i enable this see there are two two options enable load balancer generated cookies stickiness or enable application generated cookies stickiness so what is cookies you will have to go through it once so cookies are some let me tell you cookies are some default property of a browser generated and uh, your load balancer can restore them for a while or as long as you want so i'm going to enable on load balancer generated cookies period will be let us say for example one two zero seconds so if i hit this particular server within two minutes then my request will go to same server now i'm re i'm, re I'm re uh, refreshing this again and this will not go to another server now this is how we can configure this and if i want to disable it so obviously i can disable this is quite immediate so it doesn't take long time to take effect now what if my any server goes down this was example of sticky session this video is going to be a little bit long so please uh, bear with me obviously i want to show you end to end practicals of this particular stuff so what i'll do is i will terminate or maybe stop the server for a while and now if i refresh this page so there will be only one thing like request will be serving from one server fine so this is it for this video guys if you want to enable this if you want that request to be serving from both servers so you can start the server again and it will start accepting all the requests fine so that is it for with this video guys thank you very much for watching if you like this video please don't don't forget to like share and subscribe and obviously i know you are going to press the bell icon thank you very much for your support as we have reached somewhere 260 subscriber and 2.5k views we have on this channel thank you very much have a good time